Formula Plus is the latest enhanced system that was put into life after that allow players to add additional attributes to their weapons and armors that will carry over between equipment upgrades that is also based on multiple specializations and gaming style. Players will be able to opt for combinations that focuses for farming and gathering, or to go for PvP-oriented builds and apply the relevant Formula Plus upgrades to their preferred item set. Players will be able to choose to fully load their farming gear with high warmth, HP regen and resource gathering speed and crit buffs, or a PvP-oriented gear set that is fully focused in taking other survivors down. There are four items in total that makes up the Formula Plus upgrade system reagents, crystals, film, and components. To put it simply, reagents, crystals and film offer the same kind of stat upgrades according to the spec and level no matter where they are placed. Components however, imparts a random set of buffs depending on where they were slotted. We'll get more into that later. Formula Plus materials can be obtained by four ways. The first being your camp drills, other sources include the stronghold where you will be able to purchase a limited number of random reagents, crystals, film and component based on the level of strongholds that you've cleared for stronghold contribution points. The weapons store will allow you to buy two random crystals, two random reagents and one random film for new dollars and camp contribution. Of course, the mall will have everything you need. From reagents, crystals, film, and components. The mall will also allow you to buy level 4 components straight to enhance your gear. Isn't that lovely? Moving on. How materials work. The components cap out at level 4, requiring 4 of each Formula Plus upgrade material and some additional resources to convert into a single higher level component. It takes 4 level 1 reagent to create 1 level 2 reagent. Obviously, potential stats grow stronger as you level up your upgrade materials. You can do this up to level 3, at least from what I see from my end. You may unlock the ability to produce level 4 upgrade materials since it is written in the game that you're able to obtain it from the workbench. Each material in the Formula Plus system has their own specialization, ranging from buffs to keep you alive, to buffs that'll allow you to beat the crap out of others. How you arrange them together will define how you play your version of the game. Reagents There are three types of reagents. HP, defense and attack. Each corresponding to a different bonus that it can give to the player. These bonuses can stack if the same reagent is placed for the different upgrades on your equipment. HP reagents give the player enhanced crit immunity rate, lowering the chances that an opponent will be able to land a critical hit on him or her. Explosion damage reduction reduces damage from explosions, self-explanatory. Get it for the GL spammers. The rest three stats basically just reduce damage from different types of mobs. Boring. Attack reagents gives buffs such as jump, squat, height suppression, which basically raises your damage towards them if they're jumping, squatting, etc. You also can opt for back damage to deal more damage if your opponent is running away from you. To be honest, I think I'd just take pure crit chance. Defense reagents are direct counters to attack reagents. Simply put, get a bigger number than your opponent's numbers and you're good. You're probably going to die if his upgrade values are better than yours. There are four types of crystals. Speed, survival, gathering and precision. Speed allows you to do things faster, from the useful to the downright questionable. The full perk list includes, increased firing rate, increased reload speed, increased slash speed, increased movement speed and increased swimming speed. Good perks include being able to shoot faster, or run faster. I'm not too sure how useful quicker reload and melee slash speed will be. Survival is all about surviving. Obviously the best upgrade that you'd want as a PvPER is the reduced damage from player's perk, stack 3 of them in all your upgrades and you'd probably be significantly harder to take down. Warmth might be nice for gatherers. Precision kills things quicker, you can either kill people faster, or the 3 types of mobs in the game. Stacking increased damage to players are obligatory for any PvP-oriented players. Film. There's three types of film, battlefield, damage and range. Battlefield adds modifiers to your critical headshots. 
Confusion restricts reloading or changing weapons for 3 seconds. Disability prevents them from jumping, paralysis blocks the use of food or medicine. Tremble increases recoil and dispersion by 20%. Damage simply gives a flat bonus attack damage modifier to your weapon of choice. Assault rifles, SMGs, rifles and shotguns are considered light firearms. Bows, sniper rifles and bazookas are considered heavy firearms. The rest fall between projectile and non-firearms and unarmed damage. Range increases your chosen weapon's range. As mentioned before, components behave differently when slotted into different equipments. We will first start with survival and how it is affected by components. A survival-oriented build can pretty much farm indefinitely as long as he or she staves off hunger. High warmth, regen and increased resource collection rate and crit rate, combined with regenerating health every time he or she harvests a resource will ensure a comfortable farming experience. Of course, there are more builds and potential combinations to be mindful of. I will discuss this later in another video and share what I think might be good buffs for different playstyles.